is almost upon us, and so indeed is the new millennium. It's right, therefore, that our thoughts are to the future. What will the world be like in 10, 15, 20, 25 years? Will there be roads? Will there be cars? Will there even be petrol to put in them? Who knows? Well, we know, because Top Gear has seen the future. And I'm here to tell you, we're a bit worried. <laughs> By the year 2005, the government had taxed the price of petrol to a stratospheric 200 euros a gallon. But it didn't stop enthusiasts who sold their houses and lived rough in their cars instead. Petrol was banned and cars were forced to run on gas. Not only did they keep exploding in the street, their new emissions mucked up the geo-environmental sphere, causing volcanic eruptions in Solihull. The Midlands disappeared. But it wasn't all good news. In 2010, there was a national speed limit of a glacial five miles an hour. Morning. And if you dared to exceed it, armed road police with hidden sensors in the shrubbery were omnipresent. 10 miles an hour was an instant confiscation. 15 miles an hour, a 10,000 euro fine. And 20 miles an hour meant certain deportation to the Bournemouth penal colony. Petrol was only available on shadowy street corners, but you risked everything. Have you, uh, have you got any petrol? I have. I need petrol. I, I haven't had a drive for two months. Top quality gear, this. You got the cash? No, I'm, I'm got, I'll be good for it. You know, I'll be no, good. No, 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 no deal. Cash or nothing. Watch, I've got my watch. Have me watch. What do you think this is? Antiques Roadshow? I can get it. I can get it. Two hours. I'll be back in two hours with the cash here. Don't go. Please, don't. I need that petrol. The government also tried to crack down on the base and sordid practice of car enthusiasts travelling to Thailand to openly abuse an assortment of muscle cars. And Top Gear, forced to go underground, found its stories where it could. You were right, Quentin. It is a car. Yeah. What we Look, it's big. It's huge. It is huge. Pull it up. What is it? It's an Aston. Oh, it's an Aston Martin. Is it a Martin? It is. Look, it's got space. It's a Martin. Okay, listen, everyone. Listen, this is the last of the V8s, okay? This is what people used to drive. Seriously, you pay, what was it, Quentin? What did he pay? He used to pay about a hundred quid, I think. To use the road. I'm driving. Don't spill any. Don't spill it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. I can remember driving one of these things from Lincolnshire to uh, Utoxeter. I had Elgar on before he was banned, you know, and it was just brilliant. How fast, how fast is this thing, sir? Naught to 60, under five seconds. It's just a buzz. I need a fix. You get it, yeah. How many horsepower was it? A massive 600. 600. You all right about that, by the way? Yeah, I've lost all sensation. Oh, but it doesn't matter. It's worth it. It's wonderful. How long will I find it? Whoa, what's happening? You have been found to be in contravention of Euro Traffic Directive 645, which means the immediate termination of the vehicle and all of its contents. Sergeant, dispense the law. But the future was just pretend. Mercifully, we're in the present, where we still have monsters like this. The Dodge Viper GTS, V10, 8 litre, 175 miles an hour and 8 miles to every gallon. Lamborghini Diablo V12, four-wheel drive, 202 miles per hour, 6 miles per gallon. The 7 litre V12 Lister Storm, 7 miles to the gallon. And of course the Ferrari 355, you know, 47 cows were skinned so this interior would look nice. Have a great Christmas. Mm -hmm. 